Okay, everybody, welcome to Hope for Our Time. So, hey, listen, uh, we're, we've, we have today, you can't make this up, and guess what? We have a lot of things today that you just can't make up, but thought we'd start with a video with a little bit of humor for you. It's an oldie, but a goodie. And uh, let's roll this first video, because it speaks volumes to the facts of the world that we currently live in. Let's roll this. Guy. Um, excuse me, would you mind taking a photo of us? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everybody say cheese. Oh, um, actually, I'm a vegan. Could you please have us say something else? <laughs> okay, everybody say tofu. Tofu is actually not as good for you as vegans think. Any crossfitter will tell you that. It's bad for your testosterone levels. Okay, I'm sorry. How about we all just smile? Oh, if one more <laughs> asks me to smile. Not really. I'm taking a photo for you, so. What's there to smile about anyway? Okay, would you like me to just count backwards from three? Oh, would you like dyslexic people to just not exist? My cousin has dyslexia, so offended. Adopted. Don't even know who my cousins are, so more offended. How about this? We all put a word we're comfortable with in our heads and I'll get the shot. No, it doesn't sound very inclusive though, does it? I suppose you'd like us all to stand a few metres apart, would you, Stalin? Oh, I don't see what religion has to do with this. Well, I'm an atheist, so majorly triggered. Is that a comment on the gun debate? Still trying to control people. But it's not just the people. Has anyone thought about the animals? Look, this is what we're going to do. Everybody throw up a peace sign and I'll take a photo. Wow. Cultural appropriation is alive and well. Why don't you just ask us to say Kung Fu? Guess what? New plan. Group selfie. Ready, set, go. Boom. And looks awesome. You're going to love it. What? Nice to meet you. Oh. You took it with the front camera, you stupid cyclist d uh, so that's great. So we just thought we'd throw that out there to you because uh, we because we can. And we need to start with a little bit of humor because you got to admit, that's truth, wasn't it? The world that we live in today. And let's start with a little bit of humor. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Alyssa Schultz and her Bible study in North Carolina. Check this out. They all have You Can't Make This Up shirts on. Thank you, all of you. Uh, appreciate that. That is so cool. And uh, you can go to the Hope for Our Time store if you guys are interested in the You Can't Make This Up shirts. But that is cool. Thank you for doing that. They are from North Dakota. And uh, listen, it's a reminder for all of us too. Listen, gather together with your friends. Be in the study of God's Word. And by the way, we have Sunday mornings here, every Sunday. And uh, you can be with us. I'm currently in the Gospel of John. John chapter 4 this week, updated version. I think you're going to like it because it's me right here and uh, just going through the Gospel of John with you all. So join us, Sunday mornings, join us throughout the week. And again, thank you, Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa and her husband, Dan, they went to Israel with us back uh, a little over a year ago. It was a fantastic trip. And, um, but thank you. Appreciate that. That's really cool. Uh, God bless you. God bless all of you out there. And again, you can go to the Hope for Our Time store and check out a lot of the cool stuff that we have there, I think you're going to be super blessed. All right, so let's get rolling with this because we have a lot more to talk about. You ready for this? Okay, 145 days on the calendar for LGBTQ. So if you don't think the wokeism stuff is enough, check this out. 145 days. This is from Charlie Kirk. February 19. Through 25, Aromatic Spectrum Awareness Week. What is that? March 21, you can read You can read all these there. March 31, of course, we know, thank you, Joe Biden. Uh, Transgender Day of Visibility. April 6, International Asexuality Day. What is this absurdness? Look at this, June 23, Stonewall Day. June 28, International LGBTQ Plus Day. Isn't the entire month of June kind of like this? Day for something like that, November 5, Transparent Day, November 8, Intersex Day of Remembrance. I wonder how many of these days fall on your birthday. I don't know. But I mean, look at this, 145. How many heterosexual days are there? Uh, let me count. I think there's zero. That's right, zero. And the day we celebrate the birth of Christ December 25, who knows what day that really was, but guess what, that's all mixed up with all kinds of madness. And then of course we now with, you know, with Resurrection Sunday, 
I'll show you the quote by David Harris Jr. here in a minute. Resurrection Sunday has been, this is what the enemy always does, right? Satan, he always takes things and, because uh, he, he's not an originator, so he takes Resurrection Sunday, makes it all about, um, all about uh, 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 his perversion, Satan's perversions. So check this out, David Harris Jr., Resurrection Sunday. What does he have to say about this? As, as if it couldn't get any clearer, Joe and the White House are celebrating tomorrow, which is now passed, uh, not as, I would say, Resurrection Sunday, call it what you want, as Transgender Day of Visibility, the day we celebrate the Savior rising from the dead, forever defeating all the works of darkness and giving us all forgiveness and eternal life, Joe and his admin will celebrate individuals that believe God made a mistake in how he created them. I could go on and on about this. Listen, just uh, unbelievable, but this is what Satan does. And we live in a world of great confusion. I believe all of this is part of his plan to install his person, Antichrist, which is about ready to happen. Don't know when, but we know it's coming and the world is being conditioned. Uh, bring as much confusion and gaslighting into this world as possible. But check this out. You want to know who's actually speaking some sense right now into this argument? This whole madness of Biden and that new crazy New York governor, Hochul? She's crazy. I mean, we have a really bad governor in California. Those two women leading in Michigan and in New York, they're, they're nuts. I'm just telling you guys. They're nuts. Our governor's demon-possessed. Your governors are just nuts. That's it. But speaking into this, bringing actual sense, this is bizarre. You ready for this one? Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner. Remember when Bruce Jenner was in the Olympics, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner, look at this. Only Easter declaration is he has risen. That is, this is wild. President Joe Biden's open proclamation of this past Resurrection Sunday, being the Transgender Day of Visibility has raised the dander of Christian conservatives in America, including drawing a rebuke from the famed transgender voice of Caitlyn Jenner, where Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, a uh, Bruce Jenner, <laughs> that's, that's funny, Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, wh whatever, right? You guys got it. Here's this leader of the transgender movement is saying, no, the only proclamation is, guess what? The only proclamation is, it's Resurrection Sunday. That's come from Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is speaking sense of this. Hey, check this out. This Saturday, if you are in Southern California, I'll be speaking with Alex Newman at the Eagle Summit on Saturday. Check out the events page, hopeforourtimes.com. Hope that you can join us there. Again, this, uh, I'll be joining Alex Newman there. And then uh, also coming up in September, this is totally cool. Off the charts, it's going to be Footsteps of the Apostle Paul. It's myself and uh, Pastor Bob Probert. If you've ever been to Israel with me, uh, you know Bob Probert. He, he uh, co-hosts uh, the tours with me. Bob is just absolutely fantastic. His wealth of biblical knowledge with his ability to make it, a wide, make it understandable for us today, to be able to connect all the dots. Um, I, I love going everywhere with Bob that I possibly can, but he leads my tours to Israel. He's also co-leading this tour, Footsteps of the Apostle Paul, with me uh, coming up in September. Check it out. We're going to go to Ephesus, Athens, Corinth. We'll see the Acropolis, Mars Hill, and more. It is really just going to be absolutely terrific. And the cost... We got it down as much as possible for you. We want as many people to join us as possible. And again, it's like a tour in Israel, so it's very educational, but you're gonna have a blast. You're gonna meet with like-minded people. You're gonna be encouraged. You're gonna be uh, engaged. You're gonna see things, and you're gonna have, like you do in Israel, you're gonna have those aha moments when you see these places like Ephesus, and you see the Acropolis, you see Corinth, the things that, where Paul was and the things he wrote about, man, you're going to be super blessed. So I hope that you can join us coming up in September. Again, we got the cost down as far as we possibly could for you because we want as many people to join us as we possibly can. And uh, so check it out, hopeforourtimes.com. Now, by the way, also this coming Monday, Alan Didio, Bishop Alan Didio is going to be joining me for the first time ever um, he is from Encounter today. Some of you already follow him. 
Uh, listen, it's going to be a great program. I hope that you can join me 2 o'clock Pacific time at Hope for Our Times. It's going to be terrific. Again, mark your calendars. You don't want to miss it. Alan Didio is going to be joining me on Tuesday. Listen, we have a lineup that's off the charts this coming week. So uh, Sunday morning, uh, John chapter 4. Sunday night, we'll be continuing in the book of Daniel. Monday, Alan Didio. Tuesday, Bill Federer is going to be joining me from the American Minute. Really wanted to bring some things. We're going to expand our horizons and our understanding this week. And then on Wednesday, I'll have my midweek update, which is going to be really, really, really good. I already know that. And then uh, live on the app exclusive, you ready for this? I have a comedian from the UK that's going to, uh, he, he, he likes what we do. So uh, that's going to be coming up on Wednesday on the app exclusive. So we got a really great week for you guys uh, coming up. Oh, okay, back to uh, you can't make this up. So we left off with what, Caitlyn Jenner? The only one speaking any sense to this that's out there in the public or one of the few. All right, let's talk a little bit about immigration for a minute. And I'm going to go through some things. Uh, go, go into, can we go to immigration for just a minute? Look at this. MRC TV reports. You can watch the video elsewhere if you want. But uh, it basically, let's just, this, this uh, picture says a thousand words. Illegal immigrants from Venezuela arrested in the Bronx after police found multiple guns extended magazines and drugs. The worst part, all but two of the eight men were released without bail. What a shocker. There it is in New York. Man, New York has become a hellhole. California, <laughs> likewise. You look, you just go, what in, on the world going, is going on? Listen, these people, they are doing this on purpose. That's what these leaders of our country are doing. They're doing this stuff on purpose. They're purposefully destroying America. They're overwhelming the system with people from the South, Central America, South America. And then gangs, radical bad people are getting in from Central and South America. Mixing in there, we have Chinese nationals. Mixing in there, we have Somalis. Mixing in there, we have Islamic terrorists. Overwhelming the system with the volumes of people and also dest so destroying America, destroying all that is good, and, um, you know, you look at this. By the way, isn't it interesting that America's not allowed to have borders, but Egypt has a border to keep the Palestinians out, and that's kudos, according to America. But Israel's not allowed to have borders anymore, apparently, too. So, I mean, you look at the stuff and go, wow, isn't that interesting? Two countries being totally destroyed right now by the media, and here in America by the administration. Also, the administration of America is trying to destroy Israel. Two countries, America and Israel. Interesting. Huh. Wonder if that's a coincidence. No, it's not. Okay. So we see that. Immigration, very bad. It's absolutely evil what's happening. And it's intended to destroy all that is good. You need to speak out on this stuff. We need to. Okay. If you don't think weather manipulation is real, well, then why did this happen in Tennessee? Because in Tennessee, they know it's real. Robbie Starbuck, he pointed this out. He's from Tennessee. Huge news. The bill to ban the spraying of chemicals in our skies has passed. The bill bans the intentional release or dispersion of chemicals in Tennessee skies with the purpose of affecting temperature, weather, or sunlight. It's headed to the Governor Lee's desk to be signed into law. So there you go. In Tennessee, they're saying... Nope, we aren't going to allow this to happen. Why? Because they know it's happening. Listen, you can find actual websites. There's one here in California, in Santa Ana, California. It's a city in Southern California. Government, the city government, admitting to, here's what we're going to do, here's what we've done on these dates, and here's what we're going to continue to do with manipulation of the weather. I, and people say it's not really happening. It's kind of like the Great Reset. There's still people saying there's no such a thing as a Great Reset. Still people saying that. Listen, I said that four years ago, almost four years ago, and held up the book by Klaus Schwab, who said the Great Reset. I have his book. While well, the New York Times says that doesn't exist, there's no such thing. I'm holding the guy's book. You guys have seen the guy's book. I mean, we are being so gaslit. Well, this doesn't really happen. Well, at least in Tennessee, they have enough sense there to recognize 
these things really do happen. All right. So, if you think you've had enough wokeism, you, well, apparently, not, our government doesn't think so. I'm going to roll this short clip from Jesse Waters. Check it out. One time found more pork. You know, we've been telling you all about the junk Congress is making you pay for. Anti-racist oysters, gay nursing homes, ankle monitors for cows. Well, our friends over at Open the Books just dug up more millions of dollars of government waste. And over the last four years, $320 million in taxpayer money has been given to podcasts. Now, we don't know why we're paying people to do podcasts. Like, doesn't everybody have a podcast? Podcasts don't even cost millions of dollars to produce. But the Department of Agriculture spent a half a million dollars on a podcast about queer farming. The Queer Farmer Convergence started out of my out of my need for queer farmer community because I had I had a community of fellow farmers in my local area that was great, but they weren't queer. 200 grand went to a podcast that said Satanists play an important role in religion. This is a Satan who is standing up for justice against overwhelming odds on the side of the oppressed, against the monarchy, against the power of the church. What? We need a queer farming convergence? And those Christian people are so mad we need to stand up. This is nuts. Listen to this. $500,000 for the podcast on queer farming, $200,000 for the Satanists, Two hundred twenty-seven grand to learn trans pronouns in Swedish. I'm serious. This is your tax dollars. Two hundred twenty-seven grand to learn trans pronouns in Swedish. Oh, here's another one: a podcast on erotic global warming. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! And. Another 170 grand to train people in other countries how to do podcasts. This is just nuts. Listen, if you think you've had enough wokeism, by the way, we have these over in the store too. Check out the store. There it is. The wokeism, right is wrong, wrong is right. Check it out. I mean, this stuff is just nuts. So it's just absolutely nuts. And by the way, again, for those who say there's no such thing as a great reset, here it is. Here's the book I've had, the Klaus Schwab book, COVID-19, The Great Reset. Uh, yeah, it's real. It's, it's a real book. Look, look at all the pages. It tells exactly what they're going to do and how they were going to go about it. Uh, yeah, so the New York Times apparently said that didn't exist, but I have it in my library. I had it since the New York Times said I didn't have it. So, okay, Archbishop, uh, uh, along the lines of wokeness, Archbishop Vignano, the one who pushes back against the Pope, he's had enough wokeness too, thankfully. He says Biden must be recognized as excommunicated after Trans Day of Visibility Declaration. All right. So if you haven't had enough of You Can't Make This Up, I thought I'd close with two videos for you. These are both very short. I think you're going to like them both. The first one's super short, and the next one is the, se the last one's absolutely Hilarious. So check it out. You ready? We got to end on a good note. But let's roll this first video. It's very short. Pay, you got to pay attention. The youngsters, I know you're having fun. I used to have fun myself. But there's something you need to know. Stuff like that? That's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. <laughs> I didn't say the C word. Somebody else did, right? I can't look at that and go, listen. You guys, you, you pay, t you, you watch this, you get it, right? Wokeism, you can't make this stuff up. We, uh, we, you guys totally get it. All right, I got one last video for you. It's Jim Carrey. We got to end on a little bit of humor. So let's end with a little bit of humor. I think you're going to like this. Just hang with it. This isn't too long. Longer than the last video. Jim Carrey, you ready? Watch this and enjoy. I want to ask you a question. Straight out, flat out, I want you to give me the honest answer. What do you think the chances are of a guy like you and a girl like me ending up together? 
Well, Lloyd, that's difficult to say, and we really don't... Hit me with it! Just give it to me straight. I came a long way just to see you, Mary. Just... The least you can do is level with me. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Oh, that's great. That, I, listen, <laughs> we got to have some humor. So you're telling me there's a chance, one out of a million. Listen, I hope you enjoy You Can't Make This Up today. Listen, Monday, Alan Didio is going to be joining me. <laughs> Let me tell you, you're going to be super blessed. Tuesday, Bill Fetter, have an excellent week lined up for you guys, Sunday morning and Sunday evening. And, uh, and uh, look, go to the Hope for Our Time store also, or the HopeForOurTimes.com webpage. You can check out the different events that we have coming up where I'll be speaking, might be in your area. Uh, we have a lot more we're going to be loading up regarding Mexico and different things too. So check it out. Uh, God bless you guys. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. So much deception is out there. What do you think wokeism is? is meant to confuse the gaslightiness. God bless you, everybody. Again, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. And remember, as you see these things begin to take place, look up and lift up your head because your redemption draws near. One out of a million. Yes, I got a chance. God bless you guys.